well, as I said, all the best players down the years, when their back's been up against the wall in situations like this, find something. I mean, so far in a session, there's nothing to, to make you think that Ronnie was going to find something, but sometimes you just do. There you go. Yeah. Okay, he's not in the colour. Or is he in the pink? The right middle. One. He seemed to play that red quite quickly, JV, but he potted it. Yeah, well, maybe he will kind of move on. I mean, that was obviously the right shot to play anyway. Fortunate to be on the pink. Mm, but as has gone before, for some Ryan reason, One. he's not potting the balls. About as session as I can remember for Ronnie this. You know, JP was right. He was exceptional in the last two frames against Mark Williams to win the match. One. We always say the, the winning frame is the most difficult one. This is a step up to try and beat the defending champion. Not holding back. <laughs> Fabulous shot. Full slammed in the middle of the pocket. Going to go. Is he going to run its own spot? I think the black spot's covered. Can he get into the bunch of reds from this pink? <coughs> well, he's on this red. 11. Whether he can get up the table. Well, he can. Just got the right angle to stun up for the pink. Twelve. And I don't think there'll be any holding back here, Stephen. Mm, this is a big shot. Didn't get the red full in the face this time, needs a bit of luck. Didn't play this one well. When you don't get the red full in the face, the cue ball starts travelling, and then you're relying on luck. And he's not holding back, is he? That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Yeah, he's got his just rewards, because that red, one of the reds that he disturbed, brought the blue into play. Maybe not for, that, for now, but certainly for later. He's going, he's having a run for the line. Oh, well, nearly missed that. Yeah, that, that could sometimes be a good thing when you get away with one of these, because it just sharpens your concentration. You've got away with one. What he would have realised when he got that, played that unbelievable shot to split the reds, then all of a sudden you think, right, I can win the match here. And that sometimes can just, you know, you can just think about it too much. But he got away with that yellow. Yeah, and when he potted the red, the nice <coughs> click on the black left him perfect on the blue. 27. And this is what we say now, he's in that position. Just got to hold himself together. Twenty eight. <coughs> A 
probably as long as he's thought for any shot. He, there is a red in the bulk end, but he's just frightened if he plays for it, he could cover it with the brown. Is there an alternative? There's your alternative, Cannon, judged to perfection. 34. This has been a phenomenal break because when he first came to the table, it didn't look like a, a real chance to win the match at that visit. But with some unbelievable shots. The highlight, the red to... Back one ploughing the cue ball through the reds. It was just a phenomenal shot. And he's played a few this afternoon, you have to say. It's been astounding, this performance. Not over the line yet, though. Now, at the start of the match, I said that uh, we knew what his game plan was all out attack. But that's a, a dangerous tactic against someone of Ronnie O'Sullivan's ability. But we've not seen Ronnie O'Sullivan this afternoon. In all honesty, he's not turned up. Yeah, no one in their right mind would have thought that Luca was going to win seven frames 54. in a row. He's not won this one yet, but he's in a great position to do so. Not perfect on this red, though. This is missable. Just two more reds away from a place in the semi-final. <coughs> and it's beginning to look a formality 55. now. Wrong side of the blue, but he's always had that ball in the bulk end, and this time he won't be concerned about covering it with the brown. The pink's missable. The blue isn't. Yeah, it's either easy blue and difficult red, or difficult pink and easy red. That's whatever you wanted to do. Perfect. 59 points to lead, 59 remaining. 60. This red seals the deal. Well, what a performance from the Belgian Bullets. He's on the blue, he's in the semi-final. Ronnie O'Sullivan, seven times champion of the world, is out. Yeah, when he won his first round, because he, that was his fifth attempt to win a match at the Crucible, I thought that might relax him and, and be able to play the snooker that we know he can play, but I must admit, I didn't expect him to beat Mark Williams and then Ronnie O'Sullivan. Very pleased for Luca Brussel. He's played fantastic today. Missed the red, but Ronnie will come out and congratulate him, wish him the best for the tournament. And he did play well, but Ronnie O'Sullivan never turned up really. But Luca Brussel took his chances and played superbly. The seven time champion bows out. Luca Brussel goes on. An experience for him next match, the one table situation and the way he's playing, he's a contender.